A deadly fire tears through a detention center in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, just south of El Paso, Texas. Video captured inside the facility shows a woman holding a toddler as panic spreads and smoke fills the air. First responders and heavily armed military swarm the scene. Officials transported victims in ambulances and laid out others on the ground in rows. The National Immigration Institute says 68 men from Central and South America were being held at the detention center. It's unclear how many other migrants were in the facility. Officials confirmed more than three dozen people died in the fire and at least 29 others are in delicate, serious condition. The Guatemala Foreign Affairs Minister says at least 28 migrants killed in the fire are Guatemala citizens. Mexico President Andres Manuel Obrador said migrants fearing deportation protested by igniting a fire. Como protesta eh, en la puerta del albergue. Pusieron colchonetas de, del albergue y les prendieron fuego. Shelters in Ciudad Juarez are at capacity, crowded with migrants fleeing their country and seeking asylum in the U.S. Earlier this month, 30 migrant shelters and advocacy groups published an open letter and accused Mexican authorities of abuse and excessive force against migrants. It's incredibly alarming. This is already been matters of life and death when people migrate. Executive Director Marisa Limon Garza with Las Americas, an immigration nonprofit in El Paso, Texas, says the deadly fire is a result of failed immigration policies and a lack of access to migrant protections in the U.S. They're seeking protection, but they're running into challenge after challenge and being preyed upon uh, while they wait and try to make some kind of determination on how they're going to move forward. The Mexico president has spoken out and said that it was migrants themselves who started this deadly fire. Is there more to this? We know that uh, migrants that access the space are usually stripped of all of their belongings and don't have access to, to things that might create a fire. A couple of weeks ago, frustrations flared and hundreds of mostly Venezuelan migrants tried to force their way across an El Paso bridge, temporarily shutting down traffic flow and disrupting traffic at two other crossings. Migrants acted on false rumors that officials planned to open the border. Immigration advocates say migrants are frustrated with the asylum process. The fire is under investigation. Addie Guajardo, Scripps News, Phoenix, Arizona.